you don't have Java or NetBeans installed, go to this page right here, uh, link in the description below, and click on this NetBeans. And then scroll down a little bit, and it'll ask you if you're, a, you'll need to figure out if you're on Windows 64-bit or 32-bit. So this is the 32-bit version, and this is the 64-bit version. And to do that, you click on the Windows Start Ball thing, and type system and click on system information and then in here you'll be able to see right in here system type is x86 or x64 so mine is x86 so I will close this out and go to this row and I'll click on that and oh uh, I must accept all license oh there it is and then I'll click on that the x86 row from before and that'll take a little while to ins to download and but once it's done downloading I can just click um, I can click on that and it'll automatically open once it's done downloading and it'll say run or whatever it says and I'll click on that and click next and accept and blah 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 and then I will have uh, I will have Java and NetBeans installed at the same time. Alright, here it is. Uh, finished downloading, and so I will click on Run. Where did it go? <laughs> um. Ah, there we go. Next, accept, next. Accept the default locations for everything. Doesn't matter, we're not going to be customizing any of that. And once this is done, to make sure that it actually installed correctly, we will run and view NetBeans.
okay, so it's installed successfully, it says. We'll click on finish, and then just to be sure, we'll click on all programs. Where did it go? NetBeans. There it is. Starting up. Looks good. Okay, that means NetBeans and Java are installed successfully.